I feel like I'm just gonna get slammed for this in the comments. Why are you going to the club when you found husband material? You're not forced to marry anyone, really. I feel like girls so. just cheat when they That's up. We're back today with another reacting video. Did someone say controversy? Controversy? We're gonna be watching something controversial. <laughs> sitting on this side of the table today because she never gets that side and this is my bad side and I made a compromise today. I made a compromise. Well, that's also my bad side. So we're both compromising or no, in that case, I'm getting the advantage. Anyways, yeah. For anyone who's new to the channel, I'm Nina. I'm Lindsay. We're identical twins and we're both 21. We uh, live in California. That's just for context. We're going to be reacting to Andrew Tate. I'll speak for both of us. Lindsay and I like thought-provoking conversations, debates, all those kind of videos, and we've seen a little bit of Andrew Tate and some of the people that he would talk to on YouTube at least. We're going to give our two cents on this, our commentary, and just let us know if you guys like this video. I think it's really cool when there's lots of conversation to be said for videos like this, so you can yeah. always just discuss things down in the comments. I mean, it's, it's I interesting. Mean, we kind of view it as like nothing's really that serious. So things get really controversial cancel culture and stuff like that on the internet It's it's just a, it's one big joke, right? This video that we're gonna be watching is a clip from a podcast that he was on the Pearl Talk podcast It's titled Andrew Tate triggered these modern women and I think it's pretty fitting because we are we are girls in Are we modern women modern times y'all know modern times are interesting so uh, You're talking about him handle you. I don't know. I can't answer the question exactly, but if you're sitting there constantly arguing over small points or correcting him or that he's probably thinking this is a battle i don't have the energy to okay. for another fight okay so now let me add extra context to what i mean as well so obviously submission is something that people talk about a lot yeah. for me i'm a logical person i believe and i submit with logic i don't submit by default because okay. there's a level of respect that i believe i need to have yes to be able to submit obviously it's I not agree. that i go around and i disrespect all men and everything but i find that my level of thought process a lot of the times mm. it makes it hard no so i don't i know what you're trying to say yeah thank you You know, but you need to find a man you truly respect to submit to him yeah. and i completely respect that and that's the same with that's the same with 99 percent of women like you you're never going to submit to a man you don't respect mm. and and respect True. is ultimately important because you're not going to sleep with a man you don't respect you're not going to be attracted to a man you don't respect respect is the bottom line of it and the man has a job to do he has a duty to do to be worthy of respect but this all goes back into a very interesting point, some of the points I've kind of mentioned earlier. If I was a woman, if I was a chick, the chance of me ending up in a relationship with a man I don't respect is 0%. I don't... Should we debrief that? He's not wrong. Yeah. He is not wrong. Respect for anyone, even like just a friend, a platonic friendship. Respect holds a lot of value. Definitely necessary. And this is kind of also just a hard truth. So I get why these women are kind of... I mean, I don't really get their stance right now. I didn't really understand what she was saying, to be honest. I mm -hmm. tried. I tried. Yeah, okay. And how you girls end up. Well, I do understand how you girls end up here. You end up here because of feminism, promiscuity, promises that running around taking dick is fine, dumb shit, stupid decisions. I'm independent, so it doesn't matter that he's a dummy. Bunch of garbage. When you should be waking up going, you know what? I'm going to be extremely selective, and I'm going to take my time and be very, very smart, mm -hmm. because you're the gatekeeper. By the time you're in a relationship with somebody, you should have immense respect for that man. Absolute immense respect. You shouldn't be able to get there any other way. The only reason you got there is because you've been tricked by society and lied to and told a bunch of fucking bullshit. So, yeah. you, so you're talking about submission and respect. Yeah, it'll come when you meet the right man, naturally. And this is another point I make because I have a lot of men message me. I trust guys. Mm. Please understand I'm the most Googled man on the planet. I have 100,000 emails a day. Yeah. Okay, sure. And I get dudes email me. I don't get my woman to submit. And I don't reply to, I can't reply to all the emails, but I, if I ever read them, I'm like, bro, you're a fucking dork. Why would she <laughs> reply to you? Why would she submit to you? You're a fucking nerd. That's the truth. I'm not out here saying. So he is very harsh. I think that's why he's so controversial. Mm -hmm. But I think the whole point of what he's trying to say is there. I just, his delivery is kind of a bit harsh. So I get why. Yeah. <laughs> Feel a certain way. To all men, men are the boss. I'm saying, listen, there's natural balance in the universe. When you meet a G, I've never had a tr I've never had trouble with a woman obeying me. If she just wants to. It's natural for our dynamic. If she didn't want to obey me, we wouldn't even get to the point of a relationship. If she didn't feel like she wanted to listen to me, we would have never got to where we want to get. It just doesn't work. That shit only happens when the female is fucking giving up sex too easy and the dude's just picking up easy pussy and they end up in some bullshit relationship they don't even like each other. That's dumb shit. That's dumb shit, right? But I don't have any of these problems in my life. But if you're a dude at home and you're watching this and you go, I want my woman to submit and she doesn't, guess what? She doesn't respect you. And guess whose fault that is a lot of the time? 
your fault. Yeah, with that, I, I agree because I think literally it goes with any relationship. You can declare, I guess, if you want respect, but you do it in a way that is not so... Well, I think what's so different what is like modern say? day females, because of everything that's like progressed in society, they think that we're on the same level as men, which in many aspects, maybe you, you can be on the same career level and stuff like that. But in a relationship, I think the foundation of, you know, how relationships have always been is it's the guy and then the girl. There's a tier system, right? Yeah, I, th I think that that's... And see, now that's very hard to talk about because some people feel as though you can be you can be equal and that'll work. And I mean, it's kind of for me, it's like if, I've, if I see it, I believe it. And I don't think I girls deep it. down want to be equal. I, I feel like girls want the guy to be above them. Isn't that our innate nature? I don't know. Yeah. But now because of woke culture, everyone wants to be equal. on the same level. But I feel like in a relationship, I've always thought this, you should want to be with someone that you that inspires you, that you adm admire, and that you respect. Yeah. Like, I would never want to be with someone that, and this may sound bad, but that is below me, respect-wise. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's natural. I don't think... Because any, who you date is a reflection... Yeah. Who you date, who you marry, who you're partnered with is a reflection of yourself. So why would you pick someone that is doing so much worse than you? And I don't mean financially only, I just mean in general. I agree, I feel like if I was to be in a relationship, which I've never been in, but if I was to be in one, it would be with someone that I chose purposely because I respect them, so there wouldn't be any room for disloyalty. Yeah, and you should be with someone that makes you want to be a better person. Exactly. Okay, well, let's keep listening. Hell yes! Uh, it is! Yes. No, no, it is! Yes! No, no, I'm That's not, what no, you guys need to damn here tell it. But it's not, it's not about blaming men and women because everyone has a problem. But, but then there's also men who are worthy of respect who women refuse to respect sure. because of society. Tell so the so there's, two, there's two sides to it, right? But a lot of it is if you're a capable enough man and you're brilliant enough, then the female has no choice. But it's very interesting. This goes back into a point I made earlier about how important it is for us men to find women who we don't believe have had a lot of life experience and look like they are. Because I got attacked. I'm going to make this point right now. I got attacked when the Matrix attacked me and fucking lie about me. They said that men are interested in women who are younger because they're more programmable. And that they're trying to make out that I'm making out that men are out here trying to get women and fucking do bad things to them. No. What I'm saying is... If you find a woman who's younger and lived through less things, less trauma, less relationships, less headache, she's lived less life, your ideals, if you ask any woman who loves her man, what's your favorite song? His favorite song. Who do you vote for? Who he votes for? What's your favorite car? His car. That, that's how it happens when a woman loves a man. And that makes the man feel good, right? If she's been through too much shit, then that's a lot harder to pull off. So that, 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 that link is very important for men and women. But, um, so yeah, the Matrix attacked me with that, but it's very, very interesting. You have to understand all these small sub-dynamics and why things are happening and why the world is the way it is. Huh, I have a lot to say about that. I agree with him. I think if I was a guy, I would want a girl with less experience, you know, be in less places with less people, knows less, and I'm not talking about intelligence-wise, but maybe just about men in general, right? Yeah, and it's so circumstantial though because it depends on the guy you're with or the girl you're with. What I don't think he's saying is, I don't think he's saying that they should like the same car as you, that they should follow you like a little Blindly. duckling. Yeah. yeah, you want to be able to influence them in a way that is just beautiful and like helps them grow. That's what I'm getting from it because it's very traditional. I think it's- Yeah, it's very traditional and there's nothing wrong with traditional, um, but there's also not nothing really wrong with not wanting to be traditional. It's just whatever works for you. I think girls don't like to hear this a lot because with this whole new culture, we fight a lot for independence and well, they want their career and their yeah, their, they want a career and they want to you know be on top in that way. And I get that because like I want that. I want to be. I don't want someone else to make me successful. I'd rather myself be successful and find that right. success. But also finding a partner. But I think there still has to be a guy above you. Yeah, you don't want to be the guy. And it's not yeah. And even saying above you, I guess that's well, just that's it. Yeah. Oh, I don't really know what to say without getting... The baseline of it is, is that everything's fucked. Men aren't acting like men and women are acting like women and it's all messed up. Oh yeah. Wait, so what about like your own autonomy and like just like you can... Your favorite card's your favorite card, my favorite card's my favorite card. Like why does it have to... Okay, like, so I guess that's where I'm confused. Is it like, why, this? Yeah, why does it have to be like that? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, and that's a good point, right? That I understand point. that completely, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll talk from personal experience because it makes it easy for me. I have a bunch of cards. I love cars. I have 32 cars. My favorite car is X. I pick up a chick. This is my, uh, uh, what's your favorite car? This one. I like that one. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, no big deal. But the agreeableness is ultra attractive. 
the, it depends what the woman wants to do, right? If, if I was a woman, and let's say, let's say, I'm an, let's say I'm 22 years old, and I meet a billionaire, and it's my goal to marry this man, and I go to his house, and I say, wow, you have so many cars, what's your favorite car? This one. Really? I thought that one too. It looks so good. Why that one? Because this, this, this. Oh, really? Okay, I'll try and remember that. That's how you get the dude, right? You don't get the dude by going, well, that one's a better color. You're a dickhead. It's, it's, it may be small things. I think there's different levels to that. I think as long as you're not outspoken and trying to one-up the other person, no guy wants a rude, disrespectful girl. Yeah, it's good to like the same things, but... I don't think but if it's true, either. I mean, I feel like if you're lying and yeah, just saying, it. oh yeah, I like this team because you like that team, or I like this color because you like this color, then it's kind of, that's so fake to yourself. You lose yourself and yeah. you feel it. You know it. Maybe tiny things, but men are ultra interested in things like agreeableness. So We're like, ultra interested in the idea of a woman absorbing our worldviews. We're ultra interested. We are. That's what we're looking what for. What if you say? Wait, away from the woman. What then? Wait. Though. What if you say she doesn't like the car? No, no, no. <laughs> why should she agree she, to a car she that she doesn't she like? Doesn't, she doesn't, why do you want to be with she, someone she doesn't that have doesn't know who they, they are? It's, 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 can I say? Oh, I'm I love this one. one. This is my favorite. But I like it. I don't think it's about not knowing who you are. I think it's about finding someone that you respect so much that you actually believe things rub off on you. Things rub off, like you want to I definitely really get it. Do. I get yeah. it. Well, I mean, I've, I know people that you kind of start to like what they like or what they're into, but not all the things, that's weird. You because they're not necessarily on a pedestal, but you respect them. Yeah, that's natural, I think. Yours is quite nice, you know. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's quite good. But I like this one, but I like that one as well. It's not like fine. you want to slay. Is that fine? That doesn't have that eye. That's, that's, that's not going against me. It's just being nice. It's not, it doesn't cost it's, 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 it's like, like you know, like, men, men, men don't want a girl that's nagging on them for the smallest things. It's like, why are you giving a guy a headache? No, 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 that's, that's not nagging. That's not nagging, though. He's saying, oh, what car do you like? Why does she have to say his car? She likes a different car. I just gave you a solution, though. I'm talking about, I am talking about how as a female, 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 how I am talking about how as a female to be as attractive as possible to men. Now, I'm not saying you can't get a man if you say another car. I'm saying how do you be as tra attractive as possible? Because you, also, about it. because you also don't understand how men think. It's different if you come to my house and choose to like another one of my cars. But what if I only have one car? And now you say, well, no, I, I picked you up in my BMW. Oh, yeah, it's nice. I prefer Mercedes. You know what a man thinks the second you say that? Uh, Who picked you up in a Merc? <laughs> That's the first thing that goes to his fucking mind. Who, how do you know about Mercedes? What Who you, what what your you can buy your own Mercedes? That's, that's, exactly. not, what, that's what not what crosses that? the man's mind. I'm <laughs> telling you how men think. But then that's <laughs> why. And that's why. what percent of women can really afford their own Mercedes? Bro, that's so great. No, no, guys, 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 guys. I bought my own car. I said a Mercedes. I said, okay, I said, what percent of women? I drive a BMW. I said, okay, okay, I'm really, I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy for you. I said, what for the average? Woman makes thirty-five thousand dollars a year. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Okay, okay. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy for your car. But the average woman, I'm saying, what? But the whole point is that what percent of women even earn that much? It's not a high percentage. So when a guy hears that you have been, wait, wait, wait. When a guy hears that you've been in this car and that car and that car. His automatic assumption is that you're an average girl and that, foolishness. And, that and that you've been with a bunch of guys to get to that point. I, I've had a lot of experiences because of my dad, because my dad's very successful. But I've been in situations where I've said like, oh, I did this, I did this, I did this. And they think it's with a guy, but it's with my dad because that's fair. That's so valid. I get it. Yeah, that goes back to what Andrew was saying in the beginning about how guys want girls that have experienced less, not because they're technically programmable, but because they can show them more. It almost emasculates you if, if they're like, oh, but I've been in a Lamborghini. Yeah. Nice BMW though. I don't know. I mean, if I could put myself in the guy's shoes, I would agree with everything. I would think it's, I would be annoyed if a girl came in my Beamer and said, oh, I like Lamborghinis. It just kind of puts you off. Yes, and it's all how you do it though, it's all how you say it, that's really, your delivery is kind of what can make someone feel a certain way, so, pretty valid though, valid point. These guys assume that you are an average person. And, and that's and demeaning, that's and you don't think that's demeaning a can woman, I, it's, 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 she can't afford a lot of it's, it's not demeaning a woman, it's, it's looking at a balance of probabilities, if I, if I meet an average guy, I assume he makes average money. Like I, 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 I think it's just it's based, based on what I'm, I'm, wait, I'm wait, wait, stop it, wait. It's based on a balance of probabilities. And I just say something, but it's all about making a man feel that he, everybody says, oh, he, he's a top G. But it's like, if your man put up a light fitting, 
And you're standing there watching the put the light fitting up. Are you doing all that? You're they're watching a man put on the light fitting. What would you say while he's putting it up and how would you react? I'd be like, you're probably doing it wrong, but I'll let you finish and then <laughs> you <get> <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 then, but hang on a minute. And how would you act if your man was putting up a light fitting? Like, well, no, you being okay. Like, well, oh, I'll be like, see, the thing is, I no, just correct. answer the question. I just no, answer no, the question. Please, what I would you say if your man was putting up the light fitting? I'm just asking. I would be like, thank you, babe. Thank you for putting up the light fitting. I appreciate you. My man put up a light fitting. I was like, wow. He got it all out. It was all in boxes. He got his toolbox. It was up there on the ladder, whatever you want me to hand you. I was like, oh my God, you're stripping wires. Oh my God. Then he said, I'll turn it when it finished. I was like, oh, it works. That's what he's talking about. I agree. That is what he's talking about. When he's talking about the car, he's not saying you can get your own car. He's saying make the man feel like he's doing something. Make him feel appreciated. Right. Like, act like a child. No, I like, agree. Like, I you agree. know, and that's what he's saying. He's not saying that, oh yeah, you don't like that car. It's like, my man got a car. It's like... Oh my god, it's got heated seats on. That's I the like same way it goes. Like, oh, yeah, I, the most I, I, I'm not saying these things. I, I think it's got to be a balance, though. Like, yeah, I agree. I, I like to make my man feel right. good. I, when my man dresses up, I'm like, girl, you look so fine. Like, I like to make my man feel good. But he has to do that to me as well. Listen, right. He has to offer me that I to me, But I don't think she's going to get that if she's not giving that. I like the light analogy because I think that's right. Like, they, guys. I'm not a guy, of course, but I think guys want girls to be in awe. And if they've done too much or experienced too much, that's kind of been a bit dimmed. And I don't think it's to say that a girl couldn't fix a light. Yeah, that's Obviously, not the any thing. human can learn how to do that. But yeah. it's just kind of the balance in the way relationships have kind of thrived. Makes sense. Hey, right? Say about, I mean, but for instance, there's an artist that I like. My man likes it too. COVID had just sort of like finished. I got two free tickets to go to the to go. My man said to me, you're not going. What would you do? I'm not. <laughs> what would you do? Uh, why? Why, why, why? Why am I not going? It doesn't matter. He said and to you, you're not going. Because that's just illogical submission. I know. Okay, why that, you that, that go? Okay, no. It's weird that she said that that was a logical submission, but I feel like that's just respect. I mean, if he has the right reason to tell you not to go to a concert and you're in a relationship with him, you're committed to that person, why not just respect what they're asking. I feel like if I were to be in a relationship and someone told me to do something, I would, or my partner told me to do something, I would just listen, you know? They're all yeah, trying to like fight for, mm -hmm. but it's if you pick the right, it's so circumstantial because it's if you pick the right person, then you don't mind listening because you're like, oh, what you have, I respect that. I know yeah. that you probably are trying to protect me and look out for my highest good, you know? But I would kind of hold If you pick trust. someone that you're iffy about, then obeying them, their every it wish is kind of weird. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. Pick a good person and then they wouldn't tell you not to go somewhere if it was no big deal, you know? Or even if they do, then so what? Wouldn't you rather, instead of having one fun night, just have a good relationship with no... But also therapy it out, like talk about it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, the whole point is you pick someone that you respect enough to trust his judgment even, I think you, even when you disagree. That's I, the whole I point. I want to, That's I want to find that I don't agree like, with respect enough to bring me stupid. Just because you're in a relationship. Wait, wait, wait. We need one at a time. Why would you think it's something stupid or whatever? You trust the man enough to be with him. You trust the man enough to sleep with him. So why won't you trust an opinion? Why does he have to give that? If I say to my man, if I say to my man, don't do this. The first thing is you're thinking, no, she's telling me what to do. There must be a reason behind it because. why she's telling me not to do. Because. because she trusts me. I did not go. I had two free tickets. I did you not go. Man. I'll tell but you why. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Until you ask me a question, I'll tell you why. Because the same way a man wants that sort of validation, a woman wants assurance. Okay. I don't want to just blindly do everything all the time, especially sometimes thinking, okay, that's a uh, Okay, so let's talk That's what submission is. No, so let's make, let's yeah, make no, a point. That's Take it over, Andrew. Andrew. I think made a really important point because the point she's making is twofold and it's extremely important because a lot of women talk about being submissive but they're submissive oh. when it suits them. That's not submission. So she wanted to go to the concert. He said no. She trusts him as a man. She didn't go. Absolute respect for that. That's exactly what my woman, woman would have done. Exactly the same thing. Women go, I'm submissive. You're submissive when he's buying you shit in bed and you're submissive. But the second he says something you don't like, you instantly turn off the submission and run your fucking mouth. That's not submissive. That's manipulation. That's bullshit. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, responsibility and authority are linked. And if I'm, as a man, if I'm going to be responsible for a woman, I need a degree of authority over her. This is the reality of it. If I'm going to be responsible for paying your bills, or responsible for your personal safety, or responsible for your personal development, or responsible for fixing the life fitting, or responsible for everything that I'm supposed to do as a man, 
I need a degree of authority to sometimes come along and say X, Y, Z, and be obeyed. If I'm gonna... I'll cut him off real quick. I'm following that. I get it because he said sometimes he needs that degree of authority sometimes, not all the time. And I don't think a reasonable guy would implement that all the time. But that makes sense. I mean, if he's doing all this stuff, he's paying for you, he's doing like, just, yeah, you kind of have to give and take. Yeah, don't fight. A ship, if you have a ship, the reason the captain has to go down with the ship is because he is responsible for everything that happens on that ship. And because of that, he has authority. If he yells at the shipmates and they all ignore him, then he can't be considered responsible for the problems on the ship, which means he doesn't have to die with it. If you want a man invested in a relationship, he needs to be responsible for you, but he needs authority over you. And you know what? The smartest thing you can do as a woman is sit and go, you know what? Going to this concert is two hours, but this is going to piss him off and it's going to splinter in his mind for years can I, is this can I, really worth it now i'm not saying let some man abuse you let some man treat your shit that I, but if you have a good man who's good to you 99 percent of the time and he comes along and he really cares about something you should give him that grace and give him that you know what he's the man mm -hmm. he said it boom done because if something happened to you at that concert if your, bag, if your bag was snatched if you got fucking robbed if someone tried to punch you if someone grabbed you who would you call When you get into a relationship and you mm -hmm. submit yourself to someone, it shouldn't be a problem if the person you chose, because at the end of the day, you can choose people. You don't, you're not forced to marry anyone, really. I feel like girls so, just cheat when, like they were saying, when they don't respect the partner. Yeah. So what you were saying? So I would say to you, okay, but if you don't want me to go, why don't you want me to go? Like, what's worrying? What's the matter? Why would you not want me to go? But why would I want to question him when he's always got well, my best interest at heart? Well, I want to know. He's not I don't know why, because my here. best interest is... Why should he have to explain everything? Wait, because, because you're not a... Pausing it right there because I also see her point. Unless it's right in your face why you shouldn't go, I would also be wondering, wait, what? But that's when you bring up the conversation, I think, and then he'll say, oh, I'm not gonna want you to go to that concert because there's gonna be this, this, and this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and then you can kind of sympathize with him. I mean, everyone, I think the majority of people have trust issues, and if you're, like I said, committed to someone, why would you want to jeopardize that just for one fun night? Yeah, but also, like, man, a man's not perfect, so you have curiosity to ask you can yeah. ask but it's also like how you ask and don't you know nag them and don't go behind their back yeah that's yeah it's also it's like you're in a partnership respect the other person and then yeah. you receive the respect back it's just like what goes around comes around you are and also gonna know and it's not i'm treating it's not a woman way. like she doesn't have her own mind it's it very is, it is an acknowledgement it's like, like i'm sorry think about it right i'm a 26 i'm 26 
right? Yeah. I've lived my life all by myself. And then I'm in a relationship and this man is telling me I can't go yeah, out. And I'm not in reason. Well, that's camera cut off. But that's the thing, I think. You've lived your whole life by yourself. Now you get the, you know, beauty or whatever you want to call it of a relationship. So there's going to be give and take. You can't just yes. have your old life. You can't just still be... I mean, I know today's times, guys are very weird with social media and stuff. So I don't know. If a guy said, can you stop posting on social media? It'd be... What would you say? Like, it would be interesting because it's kind of like my job right now. But I would have to take that into account because I'm investing in him. And if he says that... Yeah, well, it's, it's not necessarily. So, it's then again, it's circumstantial. It depends on what you're posting, and yeah, as long as you kind of know what looks like a red flag or not. I don't know where I was yeah. going with that. Well, it's not but, necessarily. I think girls are just afraid of like losing all the power, and I don't think you're losing their freedom. I don't think you lose your freedom. I think the way you talk to your partner, the way you hang out with them, and like literally interact with them, that can go really well if you're just not holding these uh, subconscious thoughts towards them. Does that make any sense? I, I just feel like, a clue. okay, the way that you think, even like the way that you act with your partner, but the way that you think about them in secret, that also shows up and manifests. That's true. If anyone goes <laughs> made me it, lose okay. my track of that, but um, yeah. Can I do that to a man and just say, I don't want you and to I told him, and I told my man, listen, right, you know you said you're going such and such, but you know what, I don't really think you should go. He'll think about it and he'll say, you really don't want me to go? And I'll say, no, he won't go. That's a lie. It's not a lie. <laughs> There's no Wait, it also, I think, is if you do that all the time, I would be annoyed. But if, you, if they do it once in a while, or if you do it once in a while, you should have a good point. And then why not respect your partner or your friend's opinion? Yeah, right. I, well, I think... Deep down, like the girls nowadays, and we are those girls. I mean, we're modern women, I guess. Girls are just afraid of losing power when really you gotta kind of step back a little bit and see it as you still have power because you're secure in this relationship. This person's taking care of you. So it's just a different, it's not the whole, oh, I gotta go to the club whenever I want self autonomy type of power. It's more of, oh, I have a guy that cares about me that he doesn't want me out there in the club being subject to all this. Stuff that could possibly happen. Yeah, you know, and it's also like, why are you going to the club when you found husband material? That's a good point. I would always go with him. Yeah. You could also go with your friend, so it's it's very well. That's the thing. What if he's like, it's your friend's birthday, and he knows that all your friends are kind of crazy girls that kind of get around. Then, well, if it's your friend's birthday and you're going to a club and he tells you not to go. That's a bit, eh. but if it's a random Tuesday night and he's like, don't go. I'm sure if he cares about you though, if a guy really cares, he's going to want you to have fun with his friends, with your friends. Mm -hmm. Not his friends. Oh, and his friends. That's weird. Yeah. yeah, it's also, like Lindsay said, why would you feel the need to go out on a random Saturday just because there's nothing else to do when you could be sitting at home being loyal to the guy. This is so, I feel like I'm just going to get slammed for this in the comments because it sounds very submissive, but I think it's just very traditional, yeah, it's, isn't it? It's, it's pretty traditional. Just listen to what he says. Oh my god. Oh, that's so nice. Let's if we can do that, you can do that. Let me ask you a girl quick. Let me ask you a girl the question. The reason she decided not to go is because this is obviously not a regular occurrence, right? So he had a reason and she trusts his judgment. Let me give you girls a scenario. Let's imagine mm -hmm. I'm with a chick, whatever, whatever. She has a concert. I say, I don't want you to go. And she, she replies like you, why can't I go? And I say, got a bad feeling. Don't go. Uh, that, now what? No, now, like, is that, is that, so would, would, you, would you, you think the woman should just go, I don't give a shit now, about a stupid feeling and bounce? Or should no, be, what, should what she now, there's no reason, there's no reason, there's no reason, I've got bad feelings, I've got bad feelings. This is the thing, that doesn't make sense, wait, 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 look at the key, a bad feeling. Just based off a bad feeling, I feel like I'm just speaking for me, but if I was in a relationship, I would care so much about that guy, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm protecting your feelings, I'm staying home. Yeah, also I, as a woman, I would get a bad feeling in one of the... If I told someone, oh, I have a bad feeling of you doing this, I would want them to respect that. So it's like, well, as long as they're not abusing that. Yeah, yeah, then again, he said, not a regular occurrence. Mm -hmm. so. so Listen, my sister, this is the key. When you say, I don't know, I just got a bad feeling. Let me tell you how that is get translated into my head. He cares about me and he's actually thinking about something that potentially could be happening that I'm not aware of. Mm -hmm. I love him for thinking outside the box, but you reassured me, you've shown me respect for being able to no, make my own decision. Yeah. And that's all it takes. No. That's all a girl wants but, to but, hear. No, but, I'm sorry, you, you need a logical relationship. reason as no. to why you're going to tell me a feeling, a feeling is not logical. Have a, bad feeling. a feeling is not logical. Well, you know, what is your situation? Guys, 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 the whole point is that you're not trying to The whole point is a guy doesn't want to explain, like, 
every decision he makes. And of I don't course, want to men, men, like, a lot of times, he makes. a lot of times, like men think things through a lot, like more than we realize. And so he, he's already thought about it. He's already made his decision. It's a headache to him when every time he makes a decision, he has to explain it to you. That's but fine. You and if you trust that man, if you trust that man, and you've been with him as long as auntie has been with her man, and he says something with the kind of relationship they have and the respect they have for each other, of course she's gonna be like, all oh, right, well, cool, done. That's trust. And that's trust. And I wasn't happy. And, and, of course. And also, that's, that's a really good point about submission, because submission is, is largely misunderstood. Like, I can tell you a million stories. I've had girls who are like, yeah, you're the man, you're in charge, and yeah, no problem. Da-da. Yeah, she's cool, and she's cool on the jet, she's cool in Dubai, she's cool in the restaurants, she's cool in the five stars, she's cool in the Lambo. The, but the second I say something that she, that she half doesn't like, then she's like, well, you know what, then she's yeah. a feminist, right? So yeah. women do this very well. A lot of women flip-flop. Like, if, if you trust your man and, and you really want to be with him and you really want to submit to him, there's going to be times you're going to submit in ways you don't like. Can That's change? the whole point of it. The thing's going to die. Oh, our battery's flashing. Um, we're going to readjust here. Let's continue. You don't want to take. things you don't want to do. I've actually said this in the past. I respect you in the fact that you're willing to give a woman a life. You're willing to provide for her. As many of you know, I was just there. Oh, okay. That's, That's it. it. Interesting. That was quite a discussion. That was more of listening to the girls and hearing a debate rather than just listening to what Andrew has to say. But his points were not too far out there. Yeah, I think if you're expecting a lot, especially from a guy, then you have to put up. You can't just have it your way all the time. Yeah. It's interesting. Let us know what you guys think down below. What do you think mm -hmm. about that whole theory about the concert? Because it can be hard to hear and I think that's what pisses a lot of girls off is them not wanting to hear the truth of the matter but I feel like that was pretty reasonable. What would really help is just have love and respect for the other person to where you're not having these ulterior motives. You know what I mean? And like when these things do come up, when someone is being controlling, it's gonna come from, you're gonna see it more from a of love yeah. and protectiveness rather than trying to stomp all over you. It's also going back to the point of pick the right person. Yeah. Like don't, like put your standards up a little high, pick the right person and then you won't feel so wishy-washy with everything they have to do or say. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it. Hopefully if you guys enjoyed it, we'll watch some more of these videos. There's a lot that we could definitely watch. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. It kind of makes your wheels turn, right? And we'll see you in our next reaction video. Bye. Bye.